Hi, welcome to Trapping Inc. I'm Rich. And I'm Sandy Mellon. Welcome to our brand new TV series. We have been involved with the Outdoor Quest TV project for the last 15 years. And this is just a stretch beyond. Exactly. What happened is we ended up doing a couple of episodes on trapping with Outdoor Quest and it re uh, reconnected me to uh, my past. When I was a kid we trapped and, and I love trapping. But as you get you grow up and, and uh, you get married, yeah, I'm married, and have kids and all that, <laughs> you, end up, you end up getting pulled away from some of your dreams. And, and now we're back. We're back in trapping. And what we're doing today is we're setting up our, our Fisher and Martin line for the year. Come on along. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions. The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. The laws had changed since I was a trapper when I was when I was a teenager. As my kids remind me, the dinosaurs don't roam the earth anymore either. One of the things that you have to do today in order to be a trapper in Alberta is you have to be certified. So you can either challenge the test, which is that option is going away the 1st of January, or you take a course. In order to get prepared for trapping again, Sandy and I took a course. We were, went to uh, Trapper Gourds. Wilderness College in May of 2013 took the course. Here's a little bit of, of what goes on there. We really enjoyed the college. Uh, there was an immense amount of stuff to learn. Um, things have changed a lot since the last time that, that I did any trapping and, and uh, there's so many new tech, tips and techniques and that. There's several different colleges uh, uh, around uh, Alberta that uh, are available to anybody that wants to get their trapping license. Highly recommend it. So 
taking the course at the time that we did turned out to be the best thing because as we were finishing up the course, Gordy got a call from a trapper north of us uh, who was suffering from some medical issues and needed to sell their trap lines. So Rich and I arranged to meet them the very next weekend and they brought us up to the line, showed us around. We made a deal right then and there while we were sitting in the cabin and the rest is history. But sometimes it's all about being in the right place at the right time. So we'll see how this one does. Short boxes have been doing really good for us, so we'll, I think this could be a good one. Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belial Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belial Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belial Traps, first in the forest. This segment brought to you by Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com. Well, once we got the trap line, then the work began. And while it's very romantic to be living in the bush in a cabin and all that, um, there's a lot of work involved in it. One of the big ones is wood. single tree looks pretty pathetic, but you do it 12, 15 more times, you're set for the winter. Now you can either get wood as your winter goes on, but then that takes up part of your daylight and part of the time that you need to be trapping, or you can pre-do it in the summertime. Which in this case up here, means a lot of muskeg and water, horse flies, big enough to saddle in, the, in June. There's a lot of work, but the rewards are worth it. If you're organized, life is good. Let's go out and check some traps. Wow, look at that, beautiful light colored, it's a juvenile just from the size of it, frozen solid, Yeah. that's awesome, very good, oh, and either he's had a buddy or he got his, uh, or he got his teeth hooked in there, but yeah, it, that works so good. Push your back there and yeah, a little bit of tension on it and yeah. I, I'm really a fan of the short boxes. Now this is uh, the fourth Fisher on this check. Yep. Everyone and, in a short and box. And it's a short box, absolutely. And you know what else? Mm -hmm. It's the third one in a 160. Interesting. Last year in the well, we didn't have all long boxes last year. We had a bunch of short boxes too, but. 120s would have cut way we more. We didn't really focus on this area last year either. No, it was late when I set yeah. up over here. It was in yeah. January. Yeah. Well, this tells you something. Early in the year, it's great, but he's obviously frozen really well in the trap. So we'll get this other one set and in the box and, and away we go. Okay. 
Okay, a little bit of magic. The lucky traps that catch something get get a fresh spritz, do they? Yeah, that's how she works, man. Are you holding your breath? You're not talking a lot. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah. That's lots. That's lots. That stuff is 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 more expensive than gold crowns. Better than a good perfume. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is a dandy. So. We get the trap line and the first thing that we have to do is a bunch of cleanup. The trap, um, the people that owned the, the line before us built the cabin back there, oh, 30 some years ago. And I think they just kept adding to it little by little in terms of what they put inside and always intended to put cupboards up and things like that. So we had a lot of clean up, clean out out of the cabin and then we had uh, a, an old snowmobile out there too that was part of the deal and we ended up having to haul it to town. There we go. We're, we're securing the cabin against bear and two-legged skunk. Um, I didn't think we had much for bear out here. We, we have all kinds of anthills and that. Haven't seen one dug apart yet, but if you take a look here, it's pretty obvious what we got going on. He was here and his feet were muddy. You can see where he, uh, where he climbed up the side of the cabin. And then you can see where his final slip was and he come back down. <laughs> but I'm surprised. I didn't think we had much for bear out here, but we, there's certainly a sign of it. So we want to make sure that we don't get broke into by a by bear and they, they make a terrible mess inside a cabin. They get in there. Mind you, there's lots of good stuff for them in there. A lot of work, you know, you buy these assets, it's so fun and it's romantic and all the rest, but there's a lot of work involved. Yeah, I'm in for the romantic part. <laughs> and the work, that's what I brought you along did, for. Did I tell you how fine you look dressed today? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm a catch. The Argo, absolutely our command center. Everything goes in it, everything hauled in it, it's priceless. Sandy really likes the top on this one this year. Well, last year we had no windshield, no top. And on a day like this, we were wet in a big hurry. So this one, you know, you, we can wander through the trees and we've got no hats or mitts on or anything. And we're very nice and warm and dry. So that's a good thing. This segment brought to you by Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com. Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belial Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belial Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belial Traps, first in the forest. This segment brought to you by Belial Traps. First in the forest. Find us online at belialtrap.com. Take the safeties off. Maybe we need to put a nail on that too. And you need some lure. I need the lure. Sandy's favorite stuff. I gotta quit saying that, don't I? I know it makes eating a sandwich interesting if you get it on your fingers. Like the old bro cream ad, a little, a little dab will do you. I think I'm just gonna throw a nail up in there. We get a big fissure bouncing on here, you could certainly pull that down. That's the way the, the, uh, our favorite setup goes. You know, one of the things that uh, was quite a surprise you know now we, we, we go to these places and it looks like we just uh, you know that we're geniuses at picking these spots but the thing is is that we had to spend a lot of time figuring out 144 square miles of terrain and that's what we have here is 100 our trap line is 144 square miles it was unbelievable the amount of trails that had to be opened 
You know, you got to figure your way in and around creeks and beaver dams, that kind of stuff. Argo makes that prices, but we have an enormous amount of swamp here, which in the summertime, of course, is, is huge work unless you have an Argo. And even at that, we run the Argo with the tracks all the time. It's a surprising amount of work. Our first Martin. <laughs> That's awesome and what a beauty. Is it ever pretty, isn't oh. it? Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, I really, really like the uh, orange colors you get on a Martin and that. It doesn't make them worth much. Uh, you know, they... Oh, look how light he is all the way around. The dark, dark browns are the ones that are worth money, but he'll still probably be worth 50 bucks, which will be... For as much work there is in a Martin, that's they're pretty easy. It's nicer what? when you get more money for them, but yeah, uh, prices have taken a big dive last year. Uh, the first sale, I was averaging one hundred and twenty dollars on my Martin, and by the third sale, I was uh, averaging sixty-eight dollars on my Martin. All the same for the amount of work there is in a Martin, they're basically like skinning a big squirrel. And that's about all the work there is for flashing and that sort of thing. They're, they're pretty simple. Um, I, I find that pretty good money for the amount of work involved. It's not like a beaver that you, I probably spend an hour on all toll, skinning and flashing and boarding and all that, and I'll get maybe 20 bucks for it, right? But you gotta have the beaver for the, for the bait, for the Martin sandwich. <laughs> Auto trap lines in Alberta, of course, is all on public land. So, one of the uh, another thing that we had to learn about was dealing with oil companies. And we have four major players on our on our trap line. We happen to be in a very busy oil field area, so we have four companies to deal with. Three of them happen to be the most wonderful corporate partners you could ever have, neighbors, whatever you want to call them. Awesome to deal with. The other one, stereotypical big oil bully. It's all been a learning, but we've had a lot of fun. No I'm, kidding. I'm a little worried that we're doing so well this early in the year, but up north is where we have most of our fisher activity anyway, and down south is where we've just set a whole bunch of traps there yesterday. So. Yeah, and that's where most of our Martin came from, but look yeah. at this, huh? I know. This segment brought to you by Belial Traps, first in the forest. Find us online at belialtrap.com. Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belial Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belial Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belial Traps, first in the forest. Well, haven't we had a good day so far? And this guy kind of leaped off the, the wrong side, but wow, another nice juvenile fisher. Been here a long time, absolutely frozen solid. But that's great. You know, one of the great things about being a trapper is becoming involved in the trapping community. And for us, that's meant a yearly pilgrimage to the uh, Alberta Trappers Association annual rendezvous, 
where we have met some incredibly nice people. And a lot of those people you're going to see on the series this year, ranging from people who have specialties in different species like coyote, lynx, uh, muskrat. And then we've got some of our pioneers that have been involved in the, in the business of trapping and the lifestyle of trapping for literally all of their lives. On the, on the opposite end of that scope are families, young families, young parents with young children who are bringing their kids up in the life. Such a powerful story about this enduring industry, its history in Canada and how it carries on today. Ooh, breakfast smells good. Yeah, it's one of those chilly days. We've had a pot of coffee, got a little bacon on the stove. We'll get going here in a in an hour or two when things have warmed up. But now you know how we got here and I hope you come back next week and see how the whole rest of the season starts to unfold. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com Belial Traps, first in the forest. Find us online at BelialTrap.com And by Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing and trapping magazine. You can keep up with all the action online at TrappingInc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites.